Okay. Uh, wow, you guys did it. It's Friday. You've made it through the week. Uh, what else should you do than celebrate that by making yourself your favorite uh, celebratory cocktail? Actually, you should make my favorite celebratory cocktail because today I'm going to teach you how to make the uh, the Paloma. This, yeah, the Paloma. But, but I'm, I'm going to smoke it. It's going to be a smoke. Smoke Paloma. So here is our drink. This is the Paloma. Basically tequila, grapefruit. Grapefruit's great. has a tanginess, uh, a bitterness. So this is the EMBR gun. I think it's ember. Like a ember's like a, I think it's like a burning chip. So these are my embers. And basically I'm just going to take a little bit of these guys and I'm just going to place them into the uh, into the chamber. I'm not really sure what it's called on this gun, but it basically, it kind of re resembles like a pipe or like a bong or something. Cause it's, it's doing, the, it's basically the same thing. It's basically creating smoke, just like a pipe or bong. And it's kind of gonna go through here and then it's just gonna just, uh, just smoke out uh, my Paloma. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna turn this guy on. Like I said, it's just the same concept as like weed. I'm just gonna slowly just kind of burn this guy. Let's see. All right, so it's really going right now. And as you can see, my Paloma is really getting some smoke, but it looks like the smoke's blowing away. What is going on? Okay, my Paloma glass is too tall. If you can see right here, there's a little bit of a gap uh, under my dome from the ground. So it's not really smoking it as much as I want because of that gap. Um, but I want to keep this jar because it's a mason jar and mason jars are just cool to drink out of. So I need to find a way to fix this. In order to close the gap, I'm going to use one of my favorite things, gaff tape. Gaff tape is, I've used them before in the tutorial video, uh, how to roll a joint. But this is probably the best tape you can use. Industry standard for basically everything. Not sure why it's called gaff. All right, project finished. And as you can see, I have successfully gaff taped around the dome of the, uh, the smoke dome of the cloak. Slide it up. All right, here we go. So you can see, for the most part, the smoke is encapsulating the Paloma. There's still a few little, little spots, but it's not like before. I mean, this is really, you can, you can't even see the Paloma now. Look at that. Wow. And as you can see, this thing is cranking. This is, this is crazy. Um, yeah, this is, this is going to be a super smoky Paloma. I, I cannot wait. Let's turn this off. I think we're good. I'm just gonna pull out this gaff tape. As you can see, it is very smoky. Okay. Seriously, I love gaff tape. Okay, let's just do this. Wow, look at this. All right, here we are. We have the smoked Paloma. Let's try it out. Good, it's definitely good. Um, not sure if I need to smoke it more than three minutes. Maybe you need to smoke it for like a half an hour or something like that. But uh, I, we can make this smoke here. I, I got an idea. Hold on. Like I said, I think I have a better idea how to make, how to make our Paloma a little bit smokier. And to do that, I'm going to introduce the Paloma to this guy. This is, this is the Traeger. Traeger is uh, basically like a smoker, smoker grill. And it's recently gotten really popular because a lot of celebrities have been using it on Instagram. So I'm not sure if I can put glass on a grill. I feel like there's some sort of, like something if you heat up the molecules in the glass, it might explode or something like that. So that's why today I'll be using uh, a small cast iron grill, ca cast iron pan. And the great thing about cast iron uh, pans is basically you cook in them you whatever you do you just never really clean them because it contains the same seasoning as your last cook so it, every new thing you make in it it's just gonna add uh, like a blast of flavor pour this guy in you can see the plumas is kind of 
Just chilling in there. It's, it's gonna be safe because it's not in this glass. That was our main thing. Set the Paloma right in the grill. I haven't turned the grill on. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna do this first and then yeah, let it heat up. So closing that, okay, I'm just gonna turn it on. I'm just gonna bump this up all the way. I'm gonna go, because we gotta make this quick and you know, we gotta make this video quick. I can't have 15 minute tutorial again. All right, as you can tell, it is really heating up. Uh, that's kind of the best part about the Traeger is you can just kind of sit back and just kind of, just kind of watch, you know? All right, so this thing is fully cooking right now. I think right now it'd be nice to throw on uh, this year lemon. It's like a nice little uh, accoutrement. There we go. Fuck. All right. All right, just dropped my phone in the grill, but luckily it looks like, luckily it looks like it is still recording. Um, image quality looks a little odd, but I feel like I'll be able to finish out this tutorial. All right, I think it is just about time. So let's open this guy up. Oh yeah, you can tell, look at this. Look at all the smoke coming off that Paloma. Look at this, amazing. Here we are, mason jar here, can you see that? All right, let's pour it in. Wow, look at this smoke. We cannot forget our lemon because this is, look at this. Yeah, it's gonna be nice crisp. So let's put this lemon right on. It Even the lemon is smoking, wow. Look at that. This is perfect, absolutely perfect. All right, our Paloma has fully cooled off and uh, now I'm going to try it. So here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that was delicious. This is what the weekend called for. Uh, this is a smoky Paloma, uh, 10 out of 10. I can taste the alcohol, I can taste kind of the flavors from the cast iron, uh, definitely the smoke. It's all here. Um, yeah, I hope you learned a thing or two. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Happy holidays.